Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wilk and I'm here with some quick first impressions of the Moto X. The first thing I did when I got back from the Moto X event in New York City was open up the box and fire up the phone. I went through the setup process and started playing around. I'm not going to go over the specs right now because we've already mentioned them, plus we have a full review coming out very soon, so I'm just going to say what we know already. This phone is not a beast spec-wise, but this seems to be by design. Motorola's focus with the Moto X is squarely on features and streamlining how you interact with the phone. To the Moto X's credit, it feels fast when you're using it, but gaming performance and hardware-intensive apps could suffer. We'll see. I haven't been using it very long, but just being able to say OK Google now and start using the phone without the press of any button is very handy, so are the active display notifications. The size and shape of the Moto X were discussed heavily at the Moto X press event, and with good reason. The more I use this phone, the more I appreciate how comfortable it is to hold and use. I've seen plenty of other phones this size, of course, but that usually comes at the cost of a much smaller screen. Here, that's obviously not the case. Now for me, around four and a half inches is where the screen jumps from okay to big enough for me to use comfortably. So the Moto X definitely works in that case. I've played around with the clear pixel camera a little bit. The gesture to launch is pretty cool and it definitely takes a decent photo, but I haven't done the in-depth testing required to see if the RGBC sensor here really makes a difference. If there's one thing I find really surprising about the Moto X, it's the price. Everybody was expecting it to be much cheaper and that isn't the case. If it was priced similarly to the Nexus 4, for example, I think it would fly off the shelves on launch day. At the current price of $199 on contract, I'm not so sure. We'll see what happens. In my time playing around with the Moto X, I actually like it quite a bit, but that's subjective. For an objective look at it, you'll have to check out our review, which is coming very soon. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thanks for watching.